Vehicle is pitching downrange. All right, 30 seconds into flight, the, the rumbles are still building <laughs> here. Hello friends, SpaceX launched the Starship's fourth flight test. During the fourth flight test, the primary objective has been achieved. During its fourth flight test, it executed a landing one and a soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico with the Super Heavy booster and achieved a controlled entry for Starship. To accomplish this, several software and hardware upgrades has been made to increase overall reliability and address lessons learned from the previous flight number three. The SpaceX team also implemented operational changes, including the jettison of the Super Heavy's hot stage falling boost bag to reduce booster's mass for final phase of flight. Flight 4 has followed the similar trajectory as the previous flight, with Starship targeted to splash down in the Indian Ocean. The flight path does not require a deorbit burn for re-entry, maximizing public safety while still providing the opportunity to meet the primary objective of a controlled Starship re-entry. Left and then a camera in the top flap of the ship looking back in the bottom right, so getting a couple of different looks as Starship heads uphill. Uh, once we get the hot staging, a lot of things happen all at once simultaneously. We're going to light the engines on the ship, starting with the RVAX first and then the three center sea level engines before we're separated. All of that exhaust gets plumed out the side of the hot stage and then the ship will separate itself. Uh, all but the three center engines booster on the booster are, gonna are going to shut down. So the booster never stops its thrust while we go through this hot stage maneuver. After that, the booster is going to do its flip, start heading back, and then the ship will be on its own power on its way to space. So that should be coming up in just about 30 seconds from now. As of right now, still looking in like 32 out of 33 Raptors lit on the booster. And we'll start to see those stagger down. They're going to turn off in banks, so you'll see the lights on the bottom left screen of the engines that are active start to to turn off in different groups, and you'll see those three center ones lit. Booster engine cut off. Ship ignition. Stage separation confirmed. Boost back burn start up. Acquisition is in Houston. Hot stage confirmed, ship under its own power, booster boosting back. Looks like all 13 are lit. Kate, we got a booster on the way back to the Gulf and a ship on the way to space. Acquisition signal, Stennis. Ship chamber pressures are nominal. Ship power intometry nominal. All right, the first stage currently performing the boost back burn. This is expected to last a little over one minute. This propels the booster back toward the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. As you can see on your screen in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, we were only using the 13 center engines uh, from from basically from from here on. Boost back burn shut down. Heard confirmation there of good boost back burn shut down. H2 tank pressures are normal. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is. <laughs> This is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the booster. Uh, so we have the super heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot stage structure that won't need to be jettisoned. Now, after we jettison that hot stage, this, the booster will begin to uh, uh, attempt its water landing in the Gulf. In the meantime, the ship will coast for about 40 minutes or so up to an altitude of 214 kilometers. And after its coast phase, it will attempt a controlled re-entry, including a flip maneuver and a landing burn just before splashing down in the Indian Ocean. But as a reminder, we are not Trajectory attempting- Trajectory nominal. Good news there. Trajectory is looking good for the ship, which is on the right-hand side of your screen. A 
at this point in time, as you can see, um, we have no engines lit on the booster. It is coasting back toward uh, the Gulf of Mexico for a water landing and ship under power of all six Raptor engines. There's three uh, sea level and three vacuum Raptor engines uh, that are lit, as we can see on your screen. These views have been looking incredible. <laughs> Super Heavy has been performing beautifully today. And you can hear the crowd is very excited about it. As a reminder for Booster, the primary goal today is to do a landing burn and a splashdown in the water. And we are just about 30 seconds away from that landing burn expecting to begin. And an incredible view from the forward portion of the booster. This is basically on top of the super heavy booster where we have jettisoned that hot stage. So now we can see this incredible view of Earth as it's making its way back down to the Gulf of Mexico. Right now, the booster is using the four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric re-entry. And we are expecting that landing burn here. And we will be, we will be exciting, igniting 13 engines. And this is a great view on your left hand side is a view, is three views from the booster and your right hand side a view from the ship. And you can see those grid fins on your left hand screen rotating and turning to guide the booster. And there's that landing burn. That landing burn just begun. And you can see the water below. Congratulations to the SpaceX team! Ship has entered terminal guidance. That was absolutely incredible. The first successful splashdown of the super heavy booster. Loved seeing it just tip over <laughs> into the water before losing that footage. Now the next milestone is coming up in about under a minute. Ship is going to shut off its Raptor engine, which we see right there. As we mentioned uh, before, today's test flight is not an orbital flight, but rather one that demonstrates ship, the Starship's orbital capability. So right now we are under power with just the three center Raptor engines. Expecting those, to, and just there we can see that those have also successfully cut off. Ship FDS is safe. 